What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, giving you guys a first look and introduction into the brand new Vanguard Zero mobile app that is available in the iOS store, also on Android devices. Basically, if you have a smartphone, you can get this, and it is 100% free. This is actually the English version, and I know that this has been a long-awaited app of uh, you know North American and European fans. I personally am someone who really isn't that familiar with Cardfight Vanguard. So when Bushi Road, which uh, thanks for sponsoring this video, when Bushi Road, who are the creators of this application, approached me, I was definitely pretty curious because I've never played Cardfight Vanguard. I'm not super familiar with the game. I do know that it is immensely popular, at least the trading card game. So I was very interested. As somebody who's never seen the anime or played the game, I kind of wanted to know what Cardfight Vanguard was about. So now one of the things that I really liked off the jump is how this story mode kind of plays out like an anime. You'll see the guy right there with the blue hair. That's Aichi. He is the main character and uh, the main protagonist of our story. That's who you're going to be playing as. And I kind of like the way everything was kind of laid out and it felt like I was watching an anime. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this follows the storyline of the anime, but I felt that that was kind of refreshing. Now, one of the first things that it does is it takes you through the tutorial because, of course, if you're somebody like me who is unfamiliar with the game, you kind of want to learn how to play. And I like this because there's a way for me to try to understand what Card Fight Vanguard is all about while still having the training wheels on, not really being overwhelmed. So I want to walk you guys through that and explain to you what not only the game's about, but also what, you know, the app is about, the application. So you can see that it takes me into a tutorial battle and we're going to be starting off. So you have these, uh, you have an opening five card hand. Both players start with five cards and basically you have spirits and spirits are essentially what you see in my hand. Those are the cards that uh, you can summon, that you can use to power up your avatar, which is the Vanguard. That's the, uh, you know, the spirit that you see right there on the field. And the Vanguard is obviously the most important. <laughs> it's the most important card that you're going to be putting on the field because it's uh how you win and how you lose the game so you can see right there your vanguard is not very strong at the beginning of these battles but it gets progressively stronger and you can actually use your spirits uh during like the ride phase to kind of power them up you can use your spirits for different abilities you can put them on the field you can use them directly in conjunction with your vanguard to simply power it up you see how he placed it on top of his vanguard to basically just give it more uh you know more attack value and a little bit more a little bit uh of more offense and stuff like that now you see he tries to say i'm gonna go into the battle phase but <laughs> there is there is no battling in the first turn if you are going first that would be completely unfair if you could just attack your opponent's avatar and they really wouldn't be able to have any response at that point so we're going to look at my hand and we're going to go into our ride phase. This is when we can start powering up our avatar. I have a full hand, so obviously that's not going to be that difficult. We're just going to activate one of our spirits on our Vanguard and you know get it powered up a little bit. Now, you can see during the tutorial, it gives you tips. And these are things that can just help you uh, throughout the course of your battle so that you, know, you can basically make the appropriate plays. But right now, our opponent, who is also like one of the main characters in the story he's kind of just walking me through so we're going to go into the battle phase because we went second and we're going to go ahead and attack him now the win condition of card fight vanguard and you can actually see so when you declare attacks there's there are these things called triggers that can actually give you uh, bonuses, which kind of keeps every single attack very fresh when you take damage or when you're attacking. Uh, triggers can pop up and they can give you special abilities. It makes it feel pretty exciting. It's, it's kind of like a, a game within a game every single time that you're going into, uh, you know, declaring an attack. And that counter that uh, our opponent just got where you see one actually uh, up there, that's basically so when you do six damage, uh, the player who receives six damage damage is uh the loser like that's how you end up winning the game is by doing six uh by doing damage to your opponent's uh vanguard 
uh, six different times. And once you do that, then you're, you know, obviously victorious. And to me, it's kind of cool because there's a there's enough in there where, you know, there's not going to be any first turn kills or anything like that. It gets progressively more difficult to do damage to your opponent's Vanguard because it actually gets stronger every single time that it takes damage. I actually thought that that was like really good card design you can see that his vanguard originally i believe was at like 8000 attack and then it went to 10000 so even if your opponent starts out early by wailing on you it doesn't mean that it's over because your vanguard's going to get progressively stronger and it might give you the opportunity to you know turn the tide of battle so you're always going to get a lot of good back and forth you see right there i actually just took some damage but now my attack goes to or my my power actually goes to 13000 so it's going to be different difficult or a little more difficult the next time he wants to essentially do some damage to me so that's pretty cool now i do really like some of the effects and some of the animations not just in the story mode but actually while you're in the heat of battle certain times when you activate effects or you activate different cards it just looks absolutely magnificent right now they're talking about boosting and this is when you use some of your spirits to just you you basically put them on the field and then they directly power up your avatar which is actually really cool because it means that you can still have some presence on the field but you can have them you know uh, basically have like different uh, abilities while still serving as like a uh, presence you know because they can attack and they can do all other sorts of things but it's nice that there's a little bit of like uh, a dual power and dual utility right there so we're in the ride phase probably going to be looking to maybe power up our avatar a little more and then you know see where maybe we can go from there but you can see right there the uh you know the training wheels are still on and we are going to activate i believe I believe that this is Aichi's like ace monster because you can see it has an absolutely gorgeous animation <laughs> that looks really cool. And, uh, you know, this guy, um, the blaster blade also has like a special ability that when it's activated or it's, it's ability lets us remove one of our opponents, uh, one of our opponent's spirits from the field. It has to be one of like the, the higher kind of like the higher rank ones, but it's cool because it basically allows us to just eliminate one of the threats one of the threats that is on his board and it allows us to do it basically for free so we're just going to go ahead we're going to put some more spirits on the field and they all have different they all have like different ranks and powers uh and uh, sometimes there are ones that are like two and ones that are one ones that are zero they all have uh restrictions based on their power so that you can't just you know unlimitedly put a bunch of them on the board and it can feel unfair so there's a lot of great balancing in card fight vanguard right now we're going to be attempting to do a little more damage to our opponent of course his uh dragon there is going to get a little more powerful because we did just do damage to it again it's kind of just like a balancing at the more damage you do or the more times that you do damage to your opponents um to your opponent's vanguard the stronger it's going to become and the more difficult it's actually going to be to damage it so you you, you, really, you really have to think ahead and i like that it's very challenging but at the same time it feels incredibly fair you can see uh some of the triggers triggers some of them allowing you to gain like 5,000 power some of them allowing you to draw an additional card so you really never know what you're going to get out of a trigger and that makes it always feel fun and refreshing and it never feels like it's going to be stale now anyways as we wrap this up uh, you know, I'll show you guys some of the other elements of card fight Vanguard some of the other things that you can do in the Vanguard zero app And again that first battle is not supposed to be very difficult It's honestly just a warm-up So as we uh, you know show you guys some of the other characters some of the other animations That was Kai that we were battling against you could basically kind of consider him a rival to you know Aichi it shows probably some um, some scenes from like the anime which again some of the some of the animations in this app are absolutely amazing and then you go and you start looking at the actual layout of the applications. I love the fact that you get login bonuses. You can pick up gems and stuff like that that can get you additional cards. Just for kind of logging in, you can explore the uh, store. And there's so many fun things and so many things to do. The gift box, which you get just for hopping in the battles and completing those and completing different missions on the tutorial. You can get different types of tickets and you can use those to earn 
earn prizes. Keep in mind, this is all absolutely free. You don't have to pay a single thing. You can also power up and craft your cards, which means that the variance is almost limitless. And then on top of that, like if you ever feel that you may have missed something or maybe just for some reason you forgot like one of your important skills in a, a battle, you can go ahead and you can replay the tutorial missions over and over again until you really feel like you've got the fundamentals down, which is very important. And at the same time, as you complete those tutorial missions, you are going to be getting bonuses and uh, it makes it feel like not only are you learning and uh, everything is kind of sticking, but that you're, you're getting rewarded for your progress as a Vanguard player. So definitely something that I liked. So honestly, I was quite impressed by Vanguard Zero. The display looked or the animations looked great. The game felt fun, balanced, refreshing, and it is something that I definitely think that you guys should check out and you should download using the, the link in the description below. Again, guys, Vanguard Zero mobile app. This is the long awaited English release of this game that I know a lot of Car 5 Vanguard fans have been waiting for for a very long time. Definitely check it out. It's something that I'll be playing and uh, yeah, definitely use the link in the description below. Once again, thank you to Bushi Road for sponsoring this video and uh, definitely go ahead and download this game, guys.